Jeffrey Dahmer was an American serial killer and sex offender known as the Milwaukee Cannibal. He killed 17 men and boys between 1978 up until his capture in 1991. Now, this was a bad man, a truly evil human being. Many of his crimes included necrophilia and cannibalism. He was sentenced to 16 terms of life imprisonment in 1992. But on November the 28th of 1994, Jeffrey Dahmer was beaten to death by a fellow inmate at the Columbia Correctional Institution in Wisconsin. A violent end to a truly violent and terrible human being. Hey my friends and welcome back to the Nightmare Cinema Club. Hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are in this uh, crazy, crazy world that we're living in. Talking about crazy, I mean, you just saw in the intro we're covering uh, Jeffrey Dahmer. Now he's another one of those weird serial killers that um, just didn't make sense. What I always ask this question, what makes you so crazy? What snaps in your head? to do the things that some of these guys did, especially Dharma. I mean, the, the stuff that this man did, wow, guys. Um, I mean, he killed, what was it, 17 young men and boys, maybe more, we don't know, but 17 is the official number. Between, uh, what was it, 1978 and 1991. It's, um, it's crazy. But the movie version, now, I mean, long before Jeremy Rimmer awed us in uh, the Avengers movies as Hawkeye and, uh, you know, shooting aliens left and right, in 2002 he played in this wonderful uh, role as uh, Jer Jeffrey Dahmer. He played the role of Dahmer and I think he did it perfectly. Again, there's, there's various movies that came out uh, about Dahmer's life, but Jeremy Renner's version is... It's, it's spot on. It's, it's, it depicts his life perfectly and the stuff that he did. The, the thing I think that catches my eye in the movie version is how calm he portrays Dharma. Dharma was known as a very calm man, but Rena's version is just, I don't know, it's, it's a bit, and he looks, he looks a lot like him. That's, that's the scary part. But the, yeah, the movie version picks up, uh, yeah, it came out in 2002 and it picks up where he's already working in the chocolate factory, um, making chocolate in Milwaukee. And, and at night, you know, he goes to clubs and picks up young men from gay bars and um, lures them back to his apartment and kills them. But what set, what sets him apart is uh, he couldn't just let it be, you know, he couldn't just kill them. He had to cut cut off parts of their anatomy, their genitals, um, body parts, put it in his fridge. And sometimes he would, you know, he was also a cannibal. He would um, have a bit of a snack, you know. And eventually it caughts up. The movie goes back in a lot of flashback scenes uh, where you can see different parts of his life from when he lived with his grandmother to his strange relationship with his father you know um you know not telling his father about his homosexuality and um all of that stuff but it's it's a it's a really good look back at uh the life of jeffrey dahmer there was this one scene where i felt very at first i felt very bad for him his father confronts him in his room about a mannequin that his grandmother found dressed in men's clothes in his closet. <laughs> and uh, his father is this authority, this person, you know, come on, get get rid of it, you know, take it back, we're going to do this. And I, at that point, I actually felt sad for, for Jeffrey because his father just keeps on hammering on him. And uh, after that little... Um, confrontation he sees this little box that used to belong to his father and then uh, he wants to open up the box because he remembers that a girlfriend of his gave him a ring and he hid it in a secret place but Jeffrey doesn't want to open the box and um, now this is in his, while he's living with his grandmother remember, remember this now and um, I, the whole time you feel very sympathetic towards Jeff in this thing 
only to realize a little bit later on that um, there's actually a head, a human head in the box. That's why he didn't want to open it. He told his dad that there's some pornographic materials and stuff in there. But again, Jeremy Remmer's version, the way he plays um, Jeffrey Dahmer is it's spot on. Well done, Jeremy. That was really a good performance. Great performance. Um, but yeah, if you haven't seen this specific version, it came out in 2002, you'll, you'll enjoy it. If this is your type of thing, uh, seek out this movie. I'm pretty sure you can still find it. And uh, see one of the, the, the good depictions of Jeremy, Jeffrey Dahmer's life, played by Jeremy Rimmer. Um, but it's a short little look back at the film. Um, you're going to see a lot of violence. Be, be warned as well. You're going to see a lot of strong images. You're going to see a lot of um, stuff that might disturb you. But I'm re remember, guys, this guy really existed. Jeffrey Dahmer really existed. He was um, eventually killed, as I said previously, by one of his uh, inmates while he was in prison. I think he only at that point he only served about a year or two of his sentence, his life sentence, and he was he was murdered. Um, but they always say the wheel turns, eh? So, that's it. But I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for the support and thank you for keeping on watching. Uh, really appreciate it. Take care of yourselves, guys, and uh, be safe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers, my friends.